Um, I'm wearing my Pride for shirt because I graduated from HBCU school. Um, uh, a lot of our children now are not choosing our HBCU schools, and that's historically black colleges and universities. And um, since I've graduated, I've really been pushing HBCU schools uh, because, like you say, we don't take care of our own. And they've been traumatized into thinking that uh, the other schools are better and we can't do but a, a, a lot of graduates from this college in fact one of the other people here with us his son graduated from hbc from south carolina state also um but i'm happy to be on this trip i didn't want to come <laughs> um seriously but my friend horace who just spoke before me I was surprised I had to record him. He didn't talk like that. So you all have really brought his inner spirit out. Uh, he's so happy to be here. And all of my friends at home say, does he talk? I say, yes, he can talk. <laughs> when you let him uh, have the microphone and he has something to say. So it was amazing to me to hear him talk that long. But uh, he has been talking about Africa for a long time and coming to visit this country. And I said, well, I don't know if I want to go. I said, that's a long flight. And then, um, I like somebody said, you're going to the unknown. I don't really like sometimes unknown places that I don't know where I'm going. But I'm really happy now. God showed me a different side. And I'm so happy that he allowed us all to get here safely. I had no fear. Everybody said, are you scared of the flight? I said, no. I was, at one time I would have been, but now, no, and I'm glad to be around us, as we say. Yeah. Us. Yeah. Yeah. And we can be ourselves and not just uh, use the proper and correct English sometimes. <laughs> but you know, it's all in fun. So I'm thankful and I appreciate Bomani so much. Uh, Horace would talk about you constantly to me. And I would say, well, do you know where you're going? And he said, yeah, I know where I'm going. I'm going to meet him before I go. And he did. He met him in Atlanta before he took this trip. So he was really excited. Um, so I thank you. And I thank you all for, as they say, all the love that we've been sharing and all the friends that I've met. I can't wait to get back and try to pull another trip together for you. Uh, I have several friends who want to come. And I think this will be a great experience for me. So thank you all. Love you. Excellent. Yes, you have to tell us your name. Oh, uh, did I say your name? Okay, I'm, I'm Margaret, better known, Margaret Grayson, better known as Mickey, uh, back home and uh, from Greenville, South Carolina. Okay, okay. A small suburb of Greenville. I'm in the suburbs called Taylor's, South Carolina. So I'm out of Taylor's. But we say Greenville because nobody knows where Taylor's is. <laughs> so we're between Atlanta and Charlotte. Okay. Uh, so you can't miss us when you're coming through on 85. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Are we here? Next person. Next person. <laughs> okay. That's Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>